Robots. Robots are taking over the sports arena this weekend as 2,000 students on 30 teams compete in what's being called the Lunacy First Robotics Competition. It's all about teamwork and being inspired by science and technology. And here today is uh, Maria Shepard from FIRST, which stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology, and Katie Anderson and Chris Lutze from Team 1538, otherwise known as the Holy Cows, <laughs> which is a great name for a group. Um, thanks for being with us. Oh, this is also the team. Oh, can we see the robot? This is, the, this is the other members of the Holy Cows. These are the guys who are actually going to show you how the robot works. Maria, let me start with you. This is the brainchild of inventor Dean Kamen. Mm -hmm. What inspired him to come up with FIRST? Um, he took a look at the statistics across the board and felt that we were losing the battle on technology and science and the passion of it, and he wanted to get kids involved. So he knows kids love games and he loves sports, so he came up with a game for the mind, and um, he started that about almost 20 years ago. Very cool. Now, uh, uh, Chris and Katie, tell, tell us a little bit about, this is the robot called Daisy May, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Which is such a great name, which is the name of a cow, obviously. But um, you've taken all of the electronics out of it because you're using that in your competition robot. But why don't you, members of the Holy Cows, show us how this actually works. All right, so I'll talk you through it. So this is our competition robot for the, um, the 2009 season, which starts in January. Mm -hmm. And we have six weeks to build um, the robot. And so the game is released every January, and it it's always different and so this is this year's robot and it collects the field element which are moon rocks uh -huh. and which comes through the bottom here and come into this area which is the hard hopper which holds them and then the polyurethane belts bring them through and dump them into the scoring area and Chris how long did you have to come up with this idea how long did this take so we mostly came up with this idea during intercession which is a thing that our school does where during two weeks of uh, towards the beginning of build season, which starts January. Um, we get to, uh, <coughs> so we get to work on the robot uh -huh. instead of going to school. And um, oh, there's I'll also, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then there's also all sorts of other um, inter er, intercessions for uh, all other subjects like. Uh, but we have one yeah. and it's, um, intercession is something that we've, our school does because colleges do it. And so it's something that they've adapted for our school. All right, so you have all of these teams, how do you win? Um, our team personally? Yeah, well, how do, yeah what's, um, the, what's the you, goal? You're, you're trying to score as many of these um, balls, the moon rocks, mm -hmm. into... And these, um, are, these are the moon rocks. Right, okay. yeah. And <laughs> so each um, robot has a trailer hooked up to it, mm -hmm. and you try and score into other robots' trailers. And Maria, this is all about teamwork, too, because you're saying to reach out to other teams and help other teams, which yeah, doesn't so sound like the spirit of competition. Well, it's a collective. Okay. Dean's passion and Woody um, Flowers said that um, everyone needs to work together, and so it's gracious professionalism. And they actually have six weeks to build the robots. That's across the board from January 5th through um, February 17th when they ship the robots. So all the United States and all over the world, the kids build in six weeks. And then they um, collectively, if you're, uh, there's three teams, six spots on the field, three teams and three teams together, they work together. If your opposing team doesn't have a battery, it doesn't work, they expect that you would give them your battery. Yeah. So it's the whole collectiveness and everyone's brains and everyone's passions working together to make it happen. What do you folks hope to walk away with from this? Um, well, I've always had a passion for engineering, but um, this has helped me just narrow down my interests and things like that. And I think it's a really great program. It's given me so much hands-on experience. Um, and it's also really helpful for, for because the program encourages your team to work like a small business. Uh -huh. So I've learned business practice as well. I'm actually the manager of finance, but I work on the robot too, so I know how to write grants and things like that. Now. I want you guys on my team. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, we start in second grade now. Oh, Dean works wonderful. with Legos, and so Lego, um, first Lego League, kids can go from second grade all the way now through 12th grade. Get them started young. Holy cows, thanks very much for being here to help demonstrate. Good luck this weekend. Thank if you. you want to see the holy cows and the 29 other teams compete in the Lunacy First Robotics Competition, it is all happening this weekend at the San Diego Sports Arena. Thanks.